Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Reggit, and today we are going to be evolving something else. But before I do that, I'm going to be opening up some more capsules. So this is the monk cap, which is pretty much useless. So I'm going to exchange him for some XP. There you go, sir. And I'm going to go for another rare cat ticket. Let's see what we get as the cat spins around. Yes, this is the rock cat who will turn into the artist cat. That will be very useful indeed because it's resistant to angelic attacks. Plus eight now, that's that's very good indeed. Right, so let's shifty shifty onto the wrong menu. Let's shifty shifty onto what we're upgrading today. So today we are upgrading the one, the only Jurassic cat sitter. Yes, it is going to be evolved to Catasaurus. True form evolution increases defense and attack power. Also gains increased critical chance. Now that is very useful for the level we're going to be trying today. So the cat fruit I needed for it were five pink seeds, five blue seeds, five yellow seeds, a green cat fruit and a red cat fruit. So I'm gonna evolve it now with 200,000 XP. Bam! Let's see what happens. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And the Jurassic cat is true formed all the way into Catasaurus with an adorable dragon. Oh, that's amazing. Right, so we are going to use our friend Catasaurus here to take on Utopia is over there in the Silk Road stages. So this level is extremely difficult because it has a shed load of metal enemies in it. And what's the best counter to a metal enemy? A critical hit, I hear you cry. Yes, indeed. It is. So the newly true form Jurassic Cat Sitter to Catasaurus will hopefully be absolutely amazing. And so we are going to be on deck two, which is my kind of anti-metal deck. I have been using Monaco, but I have failed to see how Monaco is useful in any way. She has a very large recharge time and I haven't seen her critical anything. Maybe it's because I can't use her properly, but for the purposes of this, I'm going to omit her from my deck. We have the pear rope junk cat here, who basically can recharge really quickly and have quite a lot of critical hits. We have got this, our major space sea sort of cat, can do critical hits. Our crazed whale cat can do critical hits. Island cat can do critical hits. And this fellow here can knock back angelic enemies all the time. And there are also a lot of angelic enemies on Utopias over there. So we're going to be trying that as well. In addition to the rest of these things, we are going to go to our cat filter and see if we can find some more anti-metal things. So we are also going to put in the Michelangelo cat who can knock back those enemies. And... We are also going to be putting in the show-off cat in place of our major space cat or whatever its name is to stop metal enemies. Now, I could use my newly got drum core cat to reduce metal damage in half. In fact, that would be a very good idea. So what I will do is actually upgrade him and then see what happens. Level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5, level 6, level 7, level 8, level 9... Level 10, Banner Cat, heads an elite cat army, has inspired 40 years of students to conquer unknown lands for cat kind. Might reduce metal damage by half. So, that's good. We're going to upgrade them a little bit more. And let's go for level 15 for luck, because I need some of my XP for other things. So we're going to equip him into our deck now. So if we go to the end of our metal bit, here's our Banner Cat. And we're going to put that in place of the Island Cat, because the Island Cat is... In fact, quite expensive. So we're going to put our banner cat here. And we're going to go into battle and see what happens. Into battle we go. Venturing into the dastardly lands of Utopia is over there. Well, what I think you'll find with this level is that it is very difficult. I was forewarned about this level when I managed to unlock Silk Road. And I thought, eh, you know, they're probably right. And they're right. They're very right. But... Just take a moment to behold the magnificence of the cutest cat I've ever seen! That, that dinosaur is just, oh, it's wonderful! Anyway, we're also going to be 
um, after watching some takedowns. Look at that, Catasaurus doesn't hang about. We're gonna upgrade some monies because we were capped out there, but doing a very good job, Catasaurus. Very good job indeed. We are also gonna deploy our Banner Cat, who bounces around very strangely, but you know, there we go. And just do some other Metal Cat spam as well as our Super Galaxy Cosmo, our only really expensive cat in this mix, so important to get him out as early as we can, bring out our Shaft Cat as well, and Banner Cat, who seems to have a very short recharge time, actually. Well, not very short, but decently short. Short enough where it's not like Monaco, where you have to wait about 10 years to spawn the next one, which is one of my issues with Monaco, although I probably just don't know how to use Monaco properly, but yes! Here is the army which I've put together. So we have our freezing enemies, our weakening enemies, that's the downwards blue arrow that you may have seen. And yeah, we have the knocking back, Super Galaxy Cosmo knocking back the angels. We have the critical hits from the Catasaurus and the rope jump cats. So yeah, a pretty good anti-metal army. And at the moment you may be thinking, well, you know, Sir Regit Lad is doing pretty well. Well. I am, but that's because I haven't got to the full extent of the level yet. The full extent of the level is like two or three super metal hippos, and they are, wow, they they just destroy. Like, a super metal hippo, if you didn't know, each attack to it does only one damage unless it's a critical hit. So you have to hit it thousands of times normally to actually kill it. So critical hits, you just need them in order to defeat a super metal hippo. So we also have the metal seal. It's just a smorgasbord of metal, which is useful for showing off the Catasaurus, I will be honest. Which is the best cat ever! I mean, look at that! And our cat army is actually faring a lot better than my old cat army. And speaking of cat army, we are about to get our new uber rare again, Super Galaxy Cosmo, with his decent recharge time there. We got another one, it's good news. And our money's are doing really well, in fact, we've got loads. Constant supply from the angelic hippos coming in, usefully taken out quite easily by the Super Galaxy Cosmos now, because there are two of them. It's amazing, maths with reggae, everyone. But yeah, here are our super metal hippos, and if you don't have critical hits, as I've said, they will just wreck you completely. But now that we have critical hits, and knocking back and slowing metal enemies as such, and reducing their damage by half, we should be able to stop them from having as much of a destructive effect on our army as they did. And it's actually working fantastically. I am very much surprised at how well this is doing, actually, but you can see Super Metal Hippo getting completely knocked back. It is fantastic. And the best thing is that the Catasaurus is so amazingly cute. Look at that! Oh, I can't get over that. That is the best cat ever. But yeah, brilliant army. The Banner Cat is actually a brilliant cat as well. I will be sure to upgrade that. Very useful having done the old alien cosmic cyclone before. Excellent news, got a show off cat, band cat, Michelangelo cat, all doing work to push the super metal hippos back to the base, and now we are taking it apart like we are well trained assembly people. I mean, assembly people put things together, but we are the Battle Cats anti assembly team, taking apart your bases for free. Oh, yeah, what a strap line that is. And as Super Galaxy Cosmo rushes past the base again, we bring it down to 100. 3,000 health, the uh, Angelic Hippo is getting forward so we can't quite get to the base again, but I think that problem will soon be solved. Super Galaxy Cosmo is doing their thing and getting rid of those Angelic enemies by knocking them back each and every time. Useful Super Galaxy Cosmo, and the base is down with amazing 60,790 XP, because Stories of Legend of Stages actually give you quite a lot of XP. We will say that the Catasaurus is a fantastic cat, and I would highly recommend evolving the Jurassic Cat Sitter. Catasaurus is both cute, very powerful, and amazing, which is all you really want in a cat. And this team is sure to easily vanquish Utopia as over there, so you want to knock back metals, you want to slow metals, you want to freeze metals, you want to weaken metals, and most importantly, probably, you want the critical hits. And with Utopia is over there, you want things like Super Galaxy Cosmo to be destroying those angelic hippos that come out every so often. So there you have it. That's that level completely vanquished. <laughs>